行開始How's it going everybody? Big Bay here, PP for short, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Anhalt. Now the Anhalt is a German Tier 8 premium battleship, and one of the things with this is that it has 15 guns, though they're only 350mm. She also comes equipped with auto secondaries and manual secondaries. The manual secondaries, they're 150s, and then also with torpedoes. The thing with the torpedoes is... I would say majority of the time you want to just forget about them. You only have two per side, like not two launchers, two torpedoes per side. And they, the first one in the front of the, or the bow of the ship has pretty decent firing angles, but the second one is super wonky. It's like in the rear of the ship. Now I do find the Anhalt to be a good ship. I'm not going to say it's the best tier eight there is, but it is good. Um, I've enjoyed playing it so far. Uh, at first, I was using Richard Shear to get a little more survivability, but um, since those main batteries are only 350s, I decided to opt out for Hipper just to get that uh, armor piercing cap shell plus. And with the armor piercing cap shell plus, I have noticed my average damage for games has definitely gone up. So you're definitely getting it's worth it to run it. You're getting more pen out of it, and honestly, Hipper's one of the more common legendary commanders a lot of people have it i believe it was a bundle way back in the day so it is worth it to run hipper now in this match that you're watching i have pushed in a lot harder than i have in other games that's because there's no dds so i'm able to get in and kind of brawl a little bit and i would say that this thing is a brawler it does have the armor to back it up 52,000 health is pretty decent at the tier as well but also the torps, if you do get to use them, they do a good amount of damage, even though it's only two. Um, before damage reductions, they do about 5,000 damage per torp. Now, I have done pretty well with this ship. Only got about 20 games, lost four of them, but I'm sitting at the 80% win rate. Uh, the average damage, a lot lower again. I was testing out sheer first, but after swapping a hipper, I've been getting a lot bigger games and more kills because you have that extra pen which is I, I feel like you kind of need it with the 350s now the dispersion can be trolly um you gotta remember it's 15 guns that's a lot of firepower you can't have super accurate shells so again dispersion can be a little trolly but I find it good enough. You have a 22 second reload, which is awesome. Um, so this thing does have quite a bit of firepower and it's something to watch out with. Now with the historical camo or the Sea Legends camo, it gives you a boost to your max range and it brings it up to like 14.07 kilometers. But you also get this spotter plane, which brings it up to 15.77 kilometers. Now the difference between Historical and the Sea Legend is Dispersion. So your Dispersion is going to be found on the Sea Legend camo. Um, that's the one I'm currently using. The Historical is going to add like secondary main battery range. Um, I'd prefer the Dispersion. That's just me. I want my main batteries to actually hit. And for that reason, that's why on the equipment I'm running Dispersion in slot 1 for that extra 7%. Propulsion slot 2, I, I honestly just love propulsion. It's very rare that I don't run it. And then slot 3, I run steering. Now, I know how the ship's coming out. Uh, I can't talk about it because it's under NDA, but you guys will be pleased. Now, final verdict on this is I will be getting it, as you guys know. How I judge a ship is would I personally spend money on it myself? And the answer is... Well, part of it is because I know how it's coming out, but I, I will be getting it. Um, I'm not telling you guys to get it. That's all up to you. It is a good boat if you do get it. Just know that it is German. It can get focused down. It lights on fire easily, so it does have its drawbacks. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I'm sorry if the audio quality is a little different. I'm not where I normally record, so you guys kind of just got to bear with it with me. We're also approaching 1k subs again i get to do a tier 8 giveaway 
once that happens. So, if you haven't subscribed, consider liking and subscribing to support the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Until next time, everyone. Unser Team eroberte den Bereich. Volltreffer! Ziel getroffen!